successful year as a student athlete at RIT, you went on to play professional hockey both in the U.S. and Europe. What were the ups and downs of playing professional hockey, not for the money, but for the love of the game? You want to try to progress and move up as fast as possible, and, and sometimes you kind of get, get stuck there. And I realized that after my second year, I was playing with guys that were 40 years old, and they had kids and were kind of bouncing around all over the place. And I just didn't want to have myself end up in that position and end up playing for five, six, seven, ten years. How did the opportunity with RIT Women's Hockey come about um, and what's your role on the coaching staff right now? I knew I was done playing. I was still looking for a coaching job and um, the job opened up here so it was, it was perfect timing for that for sure. And being able to come back to RIT, it's, it's a lot better knowing, knowing what RIT is about, knowing what RIT has to offer. Right now I'm, I'm working with the whole team, but uh, like my specialty obviously is with the goalies, so whenever there's opportunities to, to do that sort of stuff, I'm working with the goalies. So you're here, is there, right? You're gonna lead with your hands, squared up to that puck, and then push. Have you found that there are differences now working with the women between the women's side of the game and the men's side? As far as the style of hockey, it's different just because it's not as physical. Um, but there is physicality, there is body checking. It's not considered like a check, but it's still, there's still contact. But as far as X's and O's and systems and stuff like that, it's, it's all the same stuff. <laughs> Guys, you're coming to college hockey, you're expected to know everything right away and we'll be able to say we want to do a certain system or a certain player, be in a certain position. Guys should know immediately. Um, Whereas women, you want to be able to be able to teach a little bit more. For me, transitioning into that part of it has taken a little bit longer, um, just because I have to realize, okay, now I have to teach this instead of just saying, okay, you need to go do this and go do it. So post out high glove, back to the post out high blocker, and then off angle, middle, low glove, off angle, middle, low blocker. Okay. Just like playing, it's, it's a process, um, you know, you want to be able to, to develop as a coach, develop your own style, and, and that's what's great about being here is that I have the opportunity now to be an assistant coach, develop my own coaching style, and learn as much as possible from Scott and Matt, um, the other assistant on, on staff here. So it's great, it's great being able to do that right now, and then you never know what, what can happen later down the road. Hands in front, hands in front.